once I came came up with the funnel I just wanted to share my findings when you combine shifting with resetting and when you when you make your players understand that there's an offensive funnel and there's a defensive funnel there's a magic that happens your players will get a lot smarter they will have a purpose to do certain things on the field because they know what the final outcome will be which is compact formations it was a comment from a, a coach that worked at Botafogo in Brazil which is my favorite club Botafogo had so many legends that I just became Botafogo so this guy made a comment and said um, it's it's in Portuguese it's one of the comments and, and and this guy he was working in South Africa and he said that one of the clubs in South Africa they painted the dashed line unfortunately he didn't send me a picture of that or anything like that but uh, we had a brief conversation through like like the, the, the comments you know you you can be very aware of the funnel but if you don't know how to teach your players how to shift because people say shift 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 oh, okay what do you use as a reference to shift the ball is the reference for your team to shift the ball is on the right side your team shifts to the right if you're thinking about the other team having the ball on the right side and then your team shifts left it's the opposite right those little details the dashed lines that I put it like in a yellow color to make to make it absolutely clear when you have that concept to attack using the funnel and your team will be way more effective than the team that it's all over the place when the ball is in the center your team spreads out but not the entire team the left forward and the right forward they open up the left fullbacks and right fullback right those guys open up too and the guys on the midfield they can open up but when when I say the guys at the top they really need to open up all the way to the sideline it's not just a little bit they they really need to open and when they run uh, penetrating and wanting that pass usually what do they do they follow the funnel they don't run towards the end line they run diagonally like a, a like an arrow pointing straight at the goalie at the goalie at the center of the goal I understand that most people who watched it they know where I'm coming from and the ones that are th that really don't understand uh, I'm where I'm coming from it's probably people who never coached in their lives the funnel is the catch the funnel will make a transformation on your team but it's not it, it, when I say it's magic it's magic for the coaches who understand what I'm trying to say I try to cover everything shifting resetting first defender closing gaps compact formation but your reference is what? The funnel. That is the magic I'm sharing with you guys. What you, and I, I was clear about that on the video. Once you teach those, those concepts and you get the funnel well taught to your players, it will change. I guarantee you it will change. Because when I coach, I use the technical warm up as a foundation. Then I teach my players how to kick, three different techniques, maybe four. I teach them how to take penalty kicks. I teach them three different techniques, okay? I teach them the funnel. I run the grid in the beginning. Another one that I do 
is what I call the circle. And there's always like a dummy, right? One guy that keeps running, chasing that ball, right? But the idea of the circle is totally different that, than that. The circle moves around the field and usually I'm playing with my players. I like drills that are very dynamic. So I came up with this idea to mix in the, dem the dummy uh, drill. I started putting neutral players over there and I, I tell my players every action, for every action there is a reaction. So if, if I'm, I have the ball and I, let's say I pass the ball to the goalie, the goalie is reacting, not waiting for the ball, but going towards the ball. But at the same time, I took my pass. What do I do? I open up. What does the midfielder need to do or the, the, the left back needs to do? He needs to open up. Oh, this guy opened up. So the defensive mid shifts to keep the triangles. So there will be a triangle between me that I just passed the ball back to the goalie and opened up when the other guy here, the left fullback opens up and the, the, the defensive mid slides in. It's like a rubber band thing, right? It's if you pull the rubber band and then you release the pressure and then it's going back and then it's go over there and then it needs to go. So it's like the circle moves around the, the, the entire field. The drill gets so intense that it's just incredible. The result is just incredible. So just think about this. You have the circle, you have the technical warm-up, the grid, you have the funnel. Oh my God, right here, you have everything. You have technical skills, you have passing drills, you have everything. And nobody is in the line watching Oh man, how many in front of me? Oh, there's five guys in front of me. Hey, hey dude, did you, did you watch that movie? Hey. I don't want to give my players time to think. It's one hour and a half. How am I going to make a transformation in an hour and a half? Sometimes it's two days practice, sometimes it's three days. Right now it's three days of practice, which is great. So in two weeks, I'm telling you, you are able to change how your players see the game by just having a tactical board, which I didn't even use it yet with this team. I didn't have time. On the fourth week, the first day of the fourth week, everything sh shut down. And I was like, no, no, no. I saw everything that we built just like collapsing. But I understand the situation is a it's a pandemic it thousands of people are, are dying it happened very fast but the beginning of the transformation I was able to, to to show those players hopefully the season will resume and we're gonna be able to finish the season I can't analyze everything but those players the U14 that I'm coaching right now they they were in shock because I was not going to give him, you know, any time to breathe, basically. You know, it, the, the practices were pretty intense. And I believe they, they, they started having like uh, the, the, the taste of the, the competitiveness to, a, you know, in a, in a, into a more intense approach. That's the approach I always take with my players. Now, I would like to talk about the funnel to younger teams. When I stepped in to coach for Ronaldo Academy, I also had a U19 assigned to me. Um, currently the DOC, so he said, Fred, I need you to coach this team. 